It's heartbreaking for Kurt's daughter, Chloe, who has Down syndrome. Chloe and Kurt are widely recognized for their substantial work in promoting and protecting the human rights of children with Down syndrome. Kurt and Chloe Kondrick join me right now. Um, such a pleasure to have you both on the show. Welcome. Uh, Kurt, so President Biden fired people from all the boards. You, this is unprecedented. I understand that usually you just run out your term. Do you have any idea why you think you specifically were fired or why they wanted to get rid of a, a disability board that I imagine is probably pretty bipartisan? Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Fox and friends. And thank you so much for having us, Chloe and I, today. Um, yes, I, Chloe and I have been advocating for individuals with Down syndrome since her birth back in 2003. And I like to tell people we're, we're very pro-life, but pro-life from conception to natural death. So I, I think we have a reputation. We, we speak out very um, loudly about the prenatal eugenic movement against people with Down syndrome, how they're being identified and targeted prenatally and then terminated because they don't meet a cultural mandate for perfection. So I think that had a lot to do with it, uh, our reputation mm. for that, and also speaking out loudly about this issue. Chloe, you got to meet President Trump. Um, I know you've done so many things. You've also spoken at the UN. Tell me what it was like meeting the President of the United States. How did you like meeting President Trump? What did, what did he say to you? I said hi. And what did he do to you? Kiss you on the head. Yeah, I see that. That picture went viral. Um, it really warmed so many people's heart, Chloe. Um, you're such an inspiration to so many people. Kurt, tell me about Chloe's Law. I know sure. that's something that's really dear to your heart. Yes. Um, so after Chloe was born, I was a city police officer, and I, I learned about this. Like I, I call it, it's a prenatal eugenic movement against yes. Down syndrome. So Chloe and I started going to our state capitol and advocating and showing people the abilities of these individuals when they receive the proper services. So instead of being told to terminate your child once they get the diagnosis, we had the idea of doing an education law that when a woman, a family receives a prenatal diagnosis, they would have to be given factual, supportive information. And that was the brainchild of Chloe's Law. And Chloe went around and met with, you know, Republicans and Democrats. As I said, Rachel, this is a bipartisan issue. It's, it's yeah. a life issue. And in 2014, the Chloe's Law was passed in, up in Harrisburg, and Chloe signed it on Governor Corbett's desk. So it was... It's, it's amazing, and you're so right. It is a bipartisan issue, and it's an issue that it's, it's sad that the Biden administration didn't keep you on that board, that you could keep advocating for it. But I know that you're not going to stop doing that, right? No, we'll never stop. I, as, as long as we're here, you know, my, my role as a police officer was to defend and protect, and you know, my role now is a, I call myself a dadvocate, is to defend <laughs> and protect our most 